I decided to stop wearing foundation. It was only hiding me and I felt like every time I walked out of the door, I wasn't being myself. It almost feels like there's this little, I don't want to say demon, but like just a little monster egg just in your face, but you can't get rid of it. And so every time you bump into it or barely touch it or something, it feels like your face is on fire. Since she was just 11, 17 year old Haley has had cystic acne, a condition which causes the hair follicles to become clogged, leaving the skin with painful red bumps. I felt overwhelmed when I first started seeing my acne spread. It started in my cheeks and then it went to my chin and then my forehead and it kind of just went all over the place. It was too painful. When my acne was at its worst, I just felt I was gross. And it was red and splotchy and I just felt like such a, kind of like a garbage can if garbage cans had faces. Some of the low points I have with my acne, I've had a lot of people at school kind of just give me dirty looks. They would call me like pizza face and you know those generic acne terms. I just felt disgusting. I felt like I wasn't pretty. I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere, which is silly because most people get acne. I felt so insecure about myself that I couldn't leave the house without makeup on, without foundation. Sometimes I would even not even go anywhere, but still put on makeup just so I didn't feel gross. And that's definitely changed now. After years of trying to cover up her acne, Haley decided it was time to change, and she stopped wearing makeup to cover up her spots. I feel like I've embraced my acne by not hiding it anymore and just kind of being real with myself and real with other people. Before Haley started feeling more confident about her acne, you could tell she was more shut in, but you can really tell the difference now that she's accepted her acne. She doesn't wear foundation anymore, and you can tell that she is just comfortable with herself. Haley now uses her social media to help other young people struggling with their skin and to show that anyone can be beautiful, whether you have acne or not. When I started posting more without any foundation, I definitely got a lot of hate at first and I would get a lot of comments like telling me to clean my face as if I wasn't already doing that and I would get loads and loads of acne advice even though I never asked. It's huge to me to see her confidence level come up and her embracing her acne and even putting a picture on Instagram, like, who does that? So that's, that's to me, a lot of confidence. I feel like I've influenced a lot of people that have insecurities in general by setting an example and showing that it's not the end of the world if you don't have perfect skin. I hope my story regarding acne really helps people to realize that just because you have these imperfections doesn't mean you're not amazing, doesn't mean you can't be successful, doesn't mean you can't be glamorous. Beauty is so much more than your face. What's wrong with your face? I've been to the doctor, she said, well, she's got the worst skin I've ever seen in my life, but I didn't want to let my acne win. So I've been recently struggling with cystic acne. You kind of get really large cysts underneath the skin, as well as normal pimples as well. Um, they can be really red and really sore, just not much fun at all. I think the most sort of uncomfortable thing has been when people are staring. Someone said to me like, oh, what's wrong with your face? I got quite upset about it. What's wrong with your face? Like, oh, we could have phrased it better. <laughs> <laughs> There've been times where I've been to the doctors. One specific time I went and she sort of turned to my dad who'd come with me and said, well, she's got the worst skin I've ever seen in my life. I know that my skin's bad, but having someone else say that it's that bad as well makes you kind of realize, okay, this is serious and it's not good. I remember how the doctors reacted to you. It was just like, oh my God, you know, actually 
being shocked and almost horrified and and it did it make you more withdrawn you were conscious of it at the time i was doing everything i possibly could and it was just getting worse i changed my diet i tried going gluten free dairy free cutting out sugar i've tried just chilling out and doing yoga and meditating. I tried acupuncture as well. I've had laser treatment. I've had microdermabrasion, different facials. I remember I tried drinking celery juice for a whole month every morning and nothing changed. When I was 22, I got the job as a gym manager um, in a local gym. I'd always battled with my skin. It really started to sort of worsen when I was around 22 at the same time as starting the management role. My face literally just erupted and um, yeah, it was like the worst it had ever been before. I felt like people were judging me and thinking that I wasn't living a healthy lifestyle. Stressing about that obviously made it worse. So I think I just decided, you know what, I've just had enough. I decided to leave my job. Looking at it now, I feel really sorry for like the girl in the photo. I feel really sorry for like how I felt at that time. Okay, so this was the first photo that I decided to put on social media. So I think I got to the point where I just thought, right, I'm just gonna put it out there. I was really nervous about it, but I just thought I kind of didn't wanna hide my skin anymore and didn't wanna hide the fact that my skin was getting worse. So I remember posting it online and um, I was totally overwhelmed with how sort of positive the response was. And yeah, that kind of spurred me on to post more things. I never realised that there was such a sort of community online for people suffering with acne. It just makes you realise that you're not alone. I noticed how many strangers got in touch with me as well. People that I've never met, people that I don't know, people from all over the world. But it's really lovely to sort of connect with people that are going through similar things. I think before even having acne, I was still quite insecure. But having acne has kind of taught me to accept myself as I am, even if I have got flaws, that we're so much more than just how we look. So now I'm definitely just trying to promote the kind of skin positivity, body positivity message of just accepting yourself for who you are. And even if you've got flaws, even if you've got insecurities, it's about learning to accept them, love yourself as you are and be happy. You are still beautiful even if you've got acne. Just because you have acne doesn't mean you're ugly. It's not something that changes who you are as a person. I've never had the confidence before to go without any makeup on where I could see people. <laughs> I feel very nervous. This is an active area right up here. It's a huge cyst. It's been brewing for a while. One of them's bleeding. It's a pretty one, pretty big one. That one's like pretty under the skin. This one just burst yesterday. Here's one. I'm numb to the pain now, but yeah, um, it's very painful. It's like whack-a-mole. Once one's gone, another one pops right back up. So I'm like, oh, this side's clear. Like right now, this is my good side. It's my bad side. But in a month, it'll switch. And this will be my good side, and this will be my bad side. Okay, they're just recording you because you're famous. <laughs> Look, eat. So when I was in high school, I suffered from cystic acne only on my chin. Um, I had taken Accutane my senior year and up until my sophomore year of college, I had pretty clear skin. When I had came, came home from school, I started getting acne again and it just progressively got worse and worse and worse. In the past six months, it's just went all over my face. I would say the most difficult part about dealing with cystic acne is probably going out in public. Because I felt like everybody was whispering or talking about my acne because I would look around and everybody would at least have somewhat clear faces. Nobody looked like me. I just didn't like who I was. And I know there was good parts about me, but I couldn't find them anymore. 
I realized like I needed to embrace my acne and you know start falling in love with myself again. I was getting advice from my friends, but I was like, I love your advice, but you don't get it. You just don't, you don't get it and you're not helping me. And so I reached out and created my acne page. And this is my first photo. I shared a little bit about my story and what I've been going through. It was the first time I'd ever posted a photo with no makeup on to social media. I've never done that before. Every photo had either a filter or I edited it. There was nothing natural about any of my photos and I finally decided that I was no longer gonna hide. Before when I would go on Instagram, with, before I had this page, I really judged myself. I didn't look like any of those girls. I could never obtain those beauty standards that they had. And that's when I decided that I wanted to create my page and just show people that there's girls out there who look like me and they in, are trying to embrace you know, their acne and you don't always have to look perfect. A lot of people just don't get it. They don't know what it's like to suffer with severe acne. We need to make a low calorie meal for our... Make lemon chicken. That's what I was thinking. Need some onions? Uh, sure. There was times when Grace wouldn't want to get out of bed because she had huge flare-ups of her cystic acne. It affects really everything Grace does. They're not only noticeable, but they hurt her. What she has is pretty extreme. And then my wife and I don't really understand Instagram. And the fact that she's gotten a lot of positivity about it and felt, I guess, supported from it it makes me think it's a really good thing for her. This one person told me that they were like gonna jump off their roof. It was really weird. Oh. And I felt bad and then I messaged so what them. Do you do? I messaged them because I was like, are you okay? <laughs> Before I used to not really ever look in the mirror. When I would wash my face, I wouldn't look up. I would just wash my face and walk right out. And now I look at myself and I don't really see, I mean, I see acne, obviously, but I really notice my eyebrows more, my eyes and my nose. Hi! How are you? <laughs> Good. You smell nice. Within the last year, it's been really bad. Like, she doesn't want to go out. I kept telling her, like, you should really start her Instagram page. Like, you could help a lot of people. And then she finally started it. And now, like, she's up to, like, 411 followers in, like, three weeks. Yeah, that's what made me think, like, she's meeting people that actually can relate to her, so I thought that was really cool. What is this? It's that mascara that comes with the Itsy bag, I think. So we're going to go out to a bar. I'm going to go with no makeup on. It's like the first time I've done this ever. So you think anyone's going to be out tonight? I don't know, hope not. You said it's Monday Night Football, though, so who knows? I just never went out to bars. I lost all of my confidence. I looked at myself in the mirror and was just like, I can't let anybody see me like this. I know I lost a lot of connections and friends doing that. Man, it's crowded, look at all these people. I'm just missing out, like I'm in my 20s, I, I wanna go out. So, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to not think about the fact that I don't have makeup on and pretend like I have makeup on so that, you know, I feel more confident walking in and just try to stay out of my head because I know that's something that I definitely do a lot when I don't have makeup on. Hey. Hey. Thank you for meeting me. Hey. Oh, God. 
have like a little bit of an anxiety attack. I didn't even go to the bathroom one time like to look at myself in the mirror to see what I look like. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> yeah, it was But awesome. I can at the same time. You did I'm really so proud well. of you. I think I hid in my room for too long with makeup on and now I'm not as afraid to go out in public without makeup. You know, that wasn't even bad. I'm, hey, I'm still here, so. You know. <laughs> Thank you.